So the one-off test between Argentina and Scotland is just around the corner. Uh, two teams that traditionally don't have too much between them, although based on the last five results, I think that's going back to about 2010. Uh, Scotland have taken four out of the last five, although the average score across those five games has been Scotland 21, Argentina 18. So like I said, it's um, yeah, generally two teams who are pretty evenly matched. Uh, both these teams will be looking to bounce back after last week. I mean, Argentina against Wales both weeks have just been poor. So, I mean, the coach has resigned. This is his last game in charge, and there's a pretty good reason for it, to be fair. Uh, for Scotland, they, they rolled the dice last week and played a bunch of young guys, and uh, it didn't pay off. It was close. Um, not a good look to lose to America, obviously, but in long-term goal of, of blood and guys, at least that's one thing that's kind of been accomplished. Uh, I will put the teams in the description so you guys can have a look, but uh, a few of the key talking points uh, for Argentina. Uh, Azcura is in for De La Fuente at 12, so uh, Azcura is a pretty young guy. I think he's at 23, so um, it's good to see him get another crack uh, at this level. Landajo still uh, edges out Bertrano at 9, so in Super Rugby, Bertrano has generally been getting the nod ahead of Landajo, but um, back to the experienced hand again uh, this week. Uh, Diaz swaps from the bench with Garcia Bota at uh, loose head, so uh, there's no... Both of these guys are solid, so I guess that's just uh, give one guy a run, give the other guy a slight rest. It'll probably only be five minutes difference either way. Uh, Alemano and Lavanini swap also in the second row. Uh, so uh, Lavanini's a big guy, but he's not had as much impact on the game in the last couple of weeks as we would have liked. Uh, Senatore experienced guy also is back at number eight. For the Scots, it's a pretty big shift from uh, last week's team. I think it's eight changes overall. Uh, McAnally returns at number two, so that's uh, a pretty useful change. Uh, he's alongside Dell and Bergen, so it's an all Edinburgh front row, which is um, which is nice. Uh, Fraser Brown gets to start in the back row, and Scottish fans may have to educate me. I think he's more a hooker, isn't he? Um, I, I did read that he played in off the bench to come on at flank last week. Maybe they want more bulk. Yeah, some, someone will have to tell me the answer to this one in the comments. I mean, Jamie Ritchie's on the bench. Is there a reason he's not starting? I know he's only young, but I would have thought this was a good opportunity for him. Uh, yeah, someone explain that one to me. Please explain. Uh, the youngsters, Horn and Hastings, get to start at 9 and 10. So that's, that's another bit of depth building. So that's all good. And uh, Kinghorn, by all accounts, played really well last week. One of the real bright spots for that um, for that Scottish team and that defeat to USA. So it's good to see him. He's still uh, in the team, but shifts from one wing to the other. So yeah, um, for Argentina, this, this June series against Wales uh, has been a real letdown. Uh, they've, they've been playing really well in Super Rugby, same team, and they've, they've come to test rugby and just been suffocated by the Welsh defence unable to get much go forward ball really just struggling to crack to crack things open and um, not showing any of the flair that we know they've got um, it's it's been pretty disappointing um, the coach is leaving though so this may be a chance for them to just let loose uh, I don't know whether they will follow the coach's instructions because he's obviously got them playing a much tighter game than what they play at Super Rugby level. I mean, you can argue, sure, at test level you do need to play it a bit tighter, but um, it wasn't working, so I think something else needs to be tried. But then again, it's a different team this week, so um, maybe they will stick to kind of stick to his game plan. But uh, like I said, the coach is leaving, so there's no particular reason that they need to kind of follow his instructions. It's not like he can drop them for the next game. So... Either way, we ho I hope we see more from the Argentinians because, um, yeah, it's, it's not been pretty the last couple of weeks. Um, not taking anything away from Wales, though, who did just shut them down with ruthless efficiency. Uh, for Scotland, sure, they're taking a chance to blood some young players, build some experience. That's good. Um, it's nice if you can get a win uh, when you do that. Um, a win in Argentina, I think, would erase much of those... Uh, feelings about that loss to America, although from uh, the Scottish commenters I've had on the channel, 
Um, I don't think anyone was really taking it too hard given the fact that there were so many inexperienced and kind of second, third, fourth choice guys, um, you know, playing in that team that lost. So if they can win, uh, good. But either way, they're building experience. Uh, looking forward to, to next year as well. So um, no matter what happens, they're, they're going to be better for the game. Bookies have got Argentina by five points. I think they've been the favorite <clears throat> all three weeks. They lost the last two, so we'll see if they're able to kind of live up to that billing this week. But um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on the game. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the teams. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.